Welcome again back to Crypto Jet holders, shillers, and my fellow crypto degenerates. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the best news, insights, and of course, my beautiful voice. Now, let's dive straight in to an in-depth review of Ethereum. Uh, before we actually go into a little bit more detail about Ethereum, a little bit more detail about the fundamentals of this project and its technical side on the chart, I'm going to talk a little bit about the... Uh, news recently that has come from China. So basically they banned cryptocurrencies allegedly once again. And I just wanted to clear the air. The market is in somewhat of a consolidative state because of this news. We're still taking profits. We're still not moving uh, bullish once again, but we will very soon because this is just a minor shakeup in the market. Basically, China actually banned a lot of other things uh, next to crypto and uh, it's literally nothing to worry about. The market is just a little bit shaken. Another thing that's shaking the market uh, is the global energy crisis with, for example, the UK running uh, shortages on uh, oil. So that actually influenced uh, the, you know, Europe and the UK sort of, uh, you know, balance of, of powers and whatever. And also the S&P 500 is in a downtrend at the moment, which is to be confirmed, you know, in the following week. So as risk sentiment takes over, the whole market is shaken, not only cryptocurrencies. So we're seeing uh, basically the same thing happening, you know, for stocks and for cryptocurrencies, which is a good thing. So cryptos are actually taken a lot more seriously at this point. Now, the global market cap is below 1.9 trillion. Again, uh, Ethereum actually has 18.3% of that. Bitcoin uh, slightly higher at 42.5%. So Bitcoin's dominance did actually increase, but I do expect Ethereum to regain a lot of that back in the next uh, section of this bull run. Now the market cap is at $350 billion and you can buy Ethereum on pretty much every exchange on the market, Binance and Coinbase being the largest ones. Now Ethereum 2 came out and uh, Altair is this uh, efficiency upgrade and whatever uh, client diversity metrics, latest client uh, memes, whatever, surveys, explainers, research. There's a lot of different things that actually came out and you should check out their Twitter to actually be uh, updated uh, day by day on what's happening. Now, I'm not a developer, I'm not a programmer. So a lot of these technical things I don't understand myself, but I urge you to actually read their white paper and see exactly what changes are going on. If you know a little bit uh, more technically in depth about these things, because they can uh, make you uh, they can help you make better uh, trading decisions or investing decisions. Because if I were to put my money into Ethereum, I would put it in right now and then a month from now and then a month from that. So I can create a nice average price and wait for my retirement money in like five years because this project is going nowhere. I'm pretty sure. Now, take a look at their Twitter page. A lot of uh, different updates coming out. NFTs especially. They have a huge community, over 1.6 million people. And obviously, it's an open source platform to create decentralized applications. So it's a blockchain network and we're taking a little look into actually what's going on on their official website. You can choose a wallet for your Ethereum. You can buy Ethereum from a lot of different places. You can use a decentralized application. There's a lot of them. One of the largest ones is actually Uniswap, which is uh, basically like a bank without a middleman. So they have uh, a possibility for you to change any token on the Ethereum network into any other token. And why is this so interesting? Well, because all of those exchanges are powered by people like you and I. So I can go into Uniswap and I can deposit my money into a liquidity pool where I will get a certain reward or interest on a yearly basis. And then when other people actually trade or want to swap tokens on the exchange, uh, it's very simple. And they're gonna use the money that I previously uh, put inside the liquidity pool. So pretty much a bank without a middleman. You can also build an Ethereum, but this is also very technically, you know, uh, critical for, for myself. So what is Ethereum? It's a technology, uh, digital money, global payments, applications. It's the largest blockchain network in the world. It's a lot more efficient than Bitcoin is, so you should keep that in mind. And a lot of people can't open bank accounts, other have their payment block payments blocked, and obviously decentralized finance or DeFi is something that I see very, very uh, prominent in the future because uh, simply it's way more efficient than the traditional financial system and it allows for a lot more people to actually be a part of it. 
on the internet of assets. Now, this is the NFTs side. So you have payments, you have decentralized finance, you have buildability or decentralized applications, and you have assets, which are NFTs. So Ethereum pretty much has everything, uh, internet, whatever, uh, examples of what you want to create. You can actually have uh, live examples of the code if you want to create something. So that's pretty interesting and some statistics about the network. Now, if we move on to the technical side, we can see uh, a few important zones that I plotted out previously. So we have the price floor that was reached and hit three times back in the, you know, May retracement or the largest retracement of the year so far. After that, we simply saw a huge bullish momentum up until the $4,000 mark. Uh, this was very visible, actually, if you did go on the logarithmic chart and plotted out a very long term trend line somewhere from here, you could actually see that this area was a very nice time to buy. But obviously, that's hindsight trading, so we're not going to pay attention. But uh, also, another opportunity is coming up very, very soon, which is around the 61% FIB retracement level, where I uh, expect Ethereum to rebound as well as the whole market and go for a new level of all time highs. Now, Wait, what am I doing? Um, if we move back onto the normal chart, we can see that this is just simply profit taking in the market. We are currently in somewhat of a downtrend, but I believe that's going to stop. And I believe very nice buying opportunities lie uh, right here where the 61% uh, healthy level of retracement lies and also where this uh, strong zone of support is that actually managed to uh, be broken out of and then retraced into and then push the price all the way up to 4k. So very bullish on Ethereum from this point onwards, we could even start moving from here, but we're yet to see any signs of a, uh, you know, bullish market coming up because at the moment, all we see is, uh, you know, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high. So if we want to be bullish, we would have to break this lower high make a retracement, which would act as a higher low and then start moving more bullish. Now, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you all for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment if you have any ideas for the future. Until we meet again, hodl for dear life and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.